On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be using the mag of holding on the new Jack Lance conversion kit for the MX Guardian shotgun. This conversion kit allows you to build up pressure and fire out ballistic rivets. Let's go test it out. So if you were a little confused just by the description of this aftermarket part, don't worry because I was too. But as you can see here on the aftermarket part, we have this little pressure dial here for with a PSI on what we're firing. And just like the normal MX Guardian, you know, we can shoot one bullet at a time here, which is the max amount of ammo it has in the magazine, at least now. But if we hold it down, let that pressure build up a bit, we can shoot all three at the same time. Except I don't think I did it right there. I think I might've uh, let go a little too early. So let's try that again. Let's hold it down. Oh, wait, is it fully firing just one at a time? Am I dumb? Hmm, I might be dumb. But me being dumb is news to nobody. As we can see here, it's still doing pretty well against zombies in tier one and almost killed two in one shot. And now let's see how it's doing in tier two against a hellhound. Killed it in the three shots. What if we hold it down? Doing decent damage here on each shot that we're holding down. What about if we just spam it? Uh, I don't know how much of a difference it makes damage-wise, at least so far. What about against a zombie with some armor? Held it down against his helmet, and it barely did anything, really. The second shot broke it, and the third shot, eh, it's, it's doing all right. Nothing groundbreaking so far. Now, let's go ahead and see how this is doing against tier three zombies with no upgrades. Here's a fully armored zombie. Let's give him a few shots. Haven't broken his helmet in the first three, but it's not the end of the world unless these zombies mess me up. Let's uh, try to find our same guy again. We'll just say this is him. Not really doing anything noticeable. Like, the only noticeable damage we're getting is on these hellhounds. Like, this fully armored zombie don't even know he's being shot. All he sees is red. And I need to get out of here before I'm dead. Bars. But now that we've seen it unpack a punch and unupgrade, let's go ahead and pack a punch and upgrade. Get us a pack three and legendary. So our mag size doubles to six. And our reserve ammo is at 72. Does not seem like a whole lot of ammo for a fully upgraded weapon, but... Maybe the damage will kind of offset that. Now let's take a look at the reload speed on it. Mm, it's all right. I mean, for six rounds in the mag, I would hope it would be a bit faster, but it's not terrible. Let's see with speed cola now. Oh, that's much better. That's way better. And we actually have two zombies right here. I'm just going to fire a shot. That was unpressurized. And now let's pressurize it. Is it doing the same amount of damage? Is there a point to this? One broke the armor and one broke the helmet. Did I hit a headshot on the guy? Well, we cladded him. All right, we're, we're gonna have to give that more of a test later. Let's go ahead and try it out against a tier two bounty. Oh, there's just three manglers right here. Why, what are you guys doing here? You're all at half health too. I'm so confused, but uh, I guess we'll just take you guys out for fun. Oh, now the mimic wants to join in on the party. One shot on him did not do a whole lot. That is no damage gone off him. And I'm pretty sure it was pressurized too. Okay, that's not looking good for this gun. What if we just spam it? Is it doing better spamming? Maybe. Mimic don't want to let me see. But I was hoping since this had such a low ammo count that it would do like good damage and the pressurization on it would make it do even more than it would like just base. But it's not looking that great. I'm hoping Maggle Holding helps this out, but I want to try it out in tier three before we, we go ahead and fully upgrade it. And this Mimic don't want us to see the light of day. Let's take him out. That was a little too close. Way too close, actually. But let's uh, start using some dead shot. All right, let's try this again. Let's give him just one slight little hit fire shot. Okay, that one kind of hit in the neck area. Let's aim down sights and shoot him. Zombie, please. That one killed. So the pressurized kill, or at least aiming down the sights and loading it, because I'm not really seeing a difference between just a normal hit fire tap like this and then holding it down. Looks like it's doing about the same. So just for reference, Hit fire tap, aim down sight. They might shoot just a little bit differently depending on what you're doing with the gun. Like ADSing almost seems like it does more damage. This gun is confusing the hell out of me because it, it just absolutely tears through zombies and we didn't really see a whole lot against the HVT. I got to try another one. All right, let's see if I was just messing this up. Here's one hip fire shot on him. Does not do a whole lot of damage. Here's the ADS fully powered shot. Actually went into attack stance there. Hold on. Does this just suck against elites or what? Should I just be spamming it? Should I just completely ignore the pressure I shot? Because this is not doing that great. And the mimic can still see me through Aether Shot. There we go. Yeah, that's right, I thought. Stay away. Like, this is not great at all right now. Let's just keep spamming it and take him out. 
serious question marks on this gun. If you can even call it that. I don't, I don't know what a rivet is. But time for the real test. Let's go ahead and grab a tier three bounty. And please be an abomination. Awesome angler. You know what? That's fine. Maybe we should start a little small. And against some tier three zombies here, it's not looking that great. Is this one of those weapons that just peak in tier two and don't do anything past that because it's kind of looking like that right now on top of us not having any ammo and here's a normal mimic or at least a tier three mimic we're still doing about the same amount of damage than we were against the hvt weird maybe for whatever reason mimics are just super strong against it what about against this uh mangler not doing a whole lot at least not with our pressurized shots let's spam it is it doing anything not really well, this is super disappointing because when i brought it into the firing range just to see how the weapon worked it was taking out all those test dummies in one shot. Now this, it can barely do any damage with one shot or with all the ammo that it has. He finally broke his helmet, but it literally took every single bullet that we had. Okay, we need to see if things turn around with it once we throw on Maggle holding. So I don't see anything else that we can do. Like it's kind of struggling to take out these tier three zombies right now. You have to hit like multiple headshots and it sounds a lot cooler when you ADS with it. It definitely sounds like it's doing more damage, but I don't think that's the case. Like, look how little health is coming off this bar. Do they even test these in zombies? Or do they, like, really don't want it to function that well? Because I can't imagine this has that many problems in, in multiplayer. Like, when this update first came out, literally, like, an hour ago, somebody had already posted a clip on Twitter of them getting, like, a cross map with it. Like, it's got the range, but the damage is not there at all. We're going to run out of ammo again. And we even have somebody sitting here helping us and we're not doing anything to this guy. This might just be terrible. And I don't even think we're going to get the finishing blow on him. Yeah. We got to have somebody come in and clean up for us. Am I just like not using this gun right? What are we going against here? A mimic? Okay. Well, we already got a bad track record against them. I don't see what's going to change here, but we're going to try. Look at this. It's not even killing hellhounds in one shot. Well, let's, let's just persevere. Maybe we just need to get the hang of it. You know, maybe we just need to get into a groove with this weapon. Ooh, we're going to get knocked down a whole lot while using it. Like, look how little it's doing. It's doing like the same amount of damage you'd get if you like threw a, a stun at something without it even going off, like hitting it with a smoke grenade. Like this decoy, I think it did the same amount of damage. That's actually insane. And we're completely out of ammo and that's how much damage we did. Also, I just noticed on the little pressure thing, the dial is, has the pack-a-punch camo on it. So they put that much uh, care and detail into that. But I don't think they, they tested this in tier three, if they even did. Oh, and he healed all of his health back. Awesome. You're not even out of your range, buddy. This is gonna be a long fight. Like, I don't understand some of these guns that just peak in high school, so to speak. Like, they they do really good in Tier 1 and Tier 2. You get up to Tier 3, and it's like, this gun shouldn't be nowhere near this area. You should not allow this weapon into this area code. It is not going to do anything for you. Like, what am I missing? Did I, did I misread the description? Is this not how the weapon's supposed to be used? Is this supposed to be like a melee weapon that just has projectiles sometimes like what's the deal and zombies don't even drop at ammo they don't even know it's a gun like let's just fully aether shroud here and focus on shooting them and see how much damage we can get off of them it's basically like we didn't even attack them this is so embarrassingly bad i think if you were just you know at random pick a gun close your eyes scroll through all the weapons you know maybe have a toddler do it have something that has something or somebody that has no idea what this game is and what like weapons are i feel like 99% of the time, picking a weapon randomly is going to do more damage than what this thing would. This actually might be the worst weapon in this game. It's doing like storm ender levels of damage. Like what can I do differently with this gun? I don't even see the point this weapon serves in zombies. Like some weapons are really good support weapons. They'll slow zombies down, you know, knock them over. Maybe even they're good at doing like elemental damage and getting ammo mods to go off more often. I don't see any use for this gun except for maybe like hanging up a, a picture frame. You know, it's it's basically like a nail gun. But even in Cold War, when we got a real nail gun, that did more damage than this. I'm about to just throw Shatter Blast on here. This thing needs any help it can get. And I made a joke the other day about like one of the newer weapons being worse than the snowballs from the, the Christmas event. This definitely is. Like I would 100% already have this mimic dead if I was just throwing snowballs at it. This is so bad. Oh. The Mimic don't even care about me anymore. It started going for someone else. It wanted a real challenge. It wanted to fight. Because I was not giving it what it wanted. 
Oh, and they took it out. That's twice a bounty it has had to be taken out by another team. I can't believe this, dude. I want to see if this is just maybe a bug in tier three where for whatever reason, none of the scaling works there. Because if we can somehow take out the Stormcaller in less than 45 minutes, then that's got to be the issue with it. And even stop him from healing, we can. The damage still isn't really that noticeable, even when we're holding down and, you know, filling up the pressure gauge. And against tier three zombies here in the storm, it's doing even worse. But they are uh, the Stormcaller zombies, so they do get a little bit more of a buff, even if they're in a different zone. And by a little bit more of a buff, I mean a lot more. This is so bad. Now, where'd our Stormcaller buddy go? There he is. Can we break your mask at least? That'll be a, a small victory for me if we can just do that slight amount. Please. Zombies, please go to the decoy too. Play by the rules. Come on. Let's just light up his mask. Anything? There we go. We broke it. Now, how much damage are we doing to his bare naked face? It's a little bit better, but it's still not good. Like at all. Like, this is not great. And he's, he's so much so that he's trying to leave the storm. He said, get me out of here. This guy's embarrassing me. Why even try to fight me when you're doing that little damage? Come on. We, we're in the last few weeks of this game. This is one of the last aftermarket parts to come out. We can't do a little bit better than this. We can't just give us like a really busted weapon. I mean, just for zombies for once. Because it almost always seems like the weapons do decent in multiplayer or war zone. If not both of them. But in zombies... We're, we're just over here fighting with like, with sticks and rocks. These are fully charged shots hitting them in the dome. And it's doing nothing. This is like punching damage without the spear. All right, Stormcaller. I think you get to live another day. I'm getting out of here. Maybe it's like really good from range. Like the further we get with the weapon and the further distance it travels, the more damage it does. Maybe if we can even hit anything. Oh, well, it did one shot. Did I actually figure this out? Do I need to come back in here with a scope? Or maybe I just need to fully embrace the ADS build with this weapon. Maybe I was completely fooled by the firing range. Because in the firing range, I could one-shot any of those dummies hip fire. So then I went and I made my build around that. But maybe I need to, you know, fully embrace ADSing, throw a scope on it, and stay way back. Because that's the, the only thing I can see fixing this weapon. Let's just go ahead and exfil, change this build up, and, and see if we can do anything differently with this weapon. And while we're going ahead and changing the build, why don't I just make myself more knowledgeable? What is a ballistic rivet? These are fragments of solid or fluid material that are ejected during explosive eruptions. They can be centimeters or tens of meters in diameter and follow a near parabolic trajectory. Okay, so just I'm more confused now. But we got Rivet Lab here. How does this thing work? Okay, that's not what I was expecting it to do, but that is not what my gun's doing. Now that we're better educated, I also went and reread the item description for this aftermarket part, and it says the pressure builds while the weapon is idle. It's currently idle. I don't see that pressure building, but maybe I'm just firing it too fast. Like I'm, I'm jumping the gun on it. I'm going too quick, but I'm also not seeing any pressure change in the time that I wait in between shots, whether ADS or not. It all looks like it just goes to almost 2,500 PSI and then stops. Is distance making a difference with this? Uh, damage still looks about the same, but I am only at Pack-A-Punch 2. Let's see. Can I get on this roof and uh, create a little separation between us? Do I do more damage this way? I can't even really hit him. <laughs> yeah, stay there. Don't move. I'm going to keep backing up and seeing if the damage gets better. Not really looking like it. Oh, uh, you know what? inconclusive so far it'd be hilarious if this just does like insane damage from super far away but does nothing close up it would be the most like unviable weapon in zombies now we got the ultimate test for this i finally got to pack three can we do anything against a mega bomb so far can't even notice the damage but he don't want to show us his face maybe we're not getting close enough like he don't even know where we're at so let's get a little bit closer just enough for us to try to hit him come here let me see those pearly whites. Let me see what you got going on in there. So a crit shot really ain't doing a whole lot. This disciple also tanking damage. Everything here is tanking damage. This is not going well for us. Now he's shooting a laser. Can we break a single face at all? Please. 
we are doing not even noticeable amounts of damage. I think the only damage he has on him, he might have tripped and fell. He might have sprained his a mega ankle, and we are completely out of ammo. This is how much damage you could do with full ammo. And what makes this worse is we have to keep leaving to go get ammo, so he's going to try to follow us and regain all that health. But we got to get at least one face broken here. Come on. Please. Did we? Oh, I, we broke it. I didn't even notice it. It didn't even make a sound. Come on. If we can get one broken, we can get them all. Maybe. Maybe he just broke it out of pity. Just keep shooting those lasers, buddy. It's only going to take a, a few trips to the ammo box. I just don't need you don't need you healing. Why don't you come walk over here? Yeah, let's, let's have a chat this way. Okay, now you stay right here. I'll be right back. Now come back. You leave those guys down there alone. They already did so much damage to him in the time that we were gone. Oh, and he is not surviving this. All these guys are going to mess him up. We have not completed a bounty here without assistance from other players. The bounties have just gone on so long that it's inevitable. But maybe I can get the last hit? No, not even. Lame, dude. I'm throwing brain rot on this. Something has to give. And if it don't, then I'm going to have to give up on the weapon. What about against a, a normal abomination? Maybe HVT is just a little too much for it. We hit him in the crit spot immediately. Still can't even notice the amount of damage on him. It is not noticeable at all. This is so bad, dude. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let's spam it. Let's get it in his mouth. Can we break it? Yup. Okay. Still not good. But it can do a little sum sum. Like a, a, a very little sum sum. Like get us killed. But I will fight tooth and nail to get this guy down. I'll do everything in my power to kill him. Even if I have to constantly use my scorcher to kill all the zombies over here to get some ammo. Come on. We almost got him to half health. We're going to be fighting this guy the entire game. Get there. Come on. We got him less than half now. We just need to get another face broken. Then we're in business. Here we go. He's trying to help us out. There we go. That's two faces down. It's possible. It's doable. Definitely not recommended, but it can happen. Come on. No, Mimic. Bad. Come on. This has got to be it. Or by it, I mean one of the last four lasers we need to kill him. This weapon only exists to teach you about persistence. You just got to keep trying. And eventually you'll be rewarded by getting a laser with seven bullets left. No bullets left. And you guys want to drop some? Oh, here we go. Come on, buddy. Just one more. Or maybe two. That's all we need. Here we go. Please. Please let this be it. Let's go. We actually took one out with this piece of shit. And now all the zombies around here know not to mess with us. They all just left the area in search of better competition. Let's see if we can kill something from a distance here. All these dudes down here are doing the spore contract. Can I kill anything in one shot? Can I one shot a single thing in tier three? Nope. Their contract ended. What about this guy? That's not a one shot. That barely did anything, actually. That's about the same amount of damage it normally does. So I think my whole theory on this doing more damage at range has uh, been debunked. This might just suck no matter the range. But just for fun, let's see if it can even do anything against a tier one bounty. Give it one shot. Broke the helmet. Second shot and does a decent amount of damage. But you would think this is like a pack one weapon or a pack two. This is as maxed out as you can get damage wise. Like, I don't know what else I could possibly do with this weapon to see if we can make it any better. Uh, I'm shooting from a distance over here. It looks like it's, you know, one shotting tier two zombies. But I think it would do that up close, right? Yeah. Like, I don't see any way we can make this weapon any better. I think it just sucks. I, I, I hate to break it to you, but this might not be a good weapon. This is just disappointing all around. I mean, actually, the design on it looks pretty cool. I'll give it that. It looks it looks unique. It's definitely one of the more unique aftermarket parts that we've gotten, but I cannot think of a, a worse one. This thing sucks ass. Ballistic ass. I was even putting myself in danger trying to exfil here in tier two. So overall review on the Jack Lance aftermarket part. It's butt cheeks and not even good butt cheeks. It's like Hank Hill butt cheeks. Like they, they're barely even qualified to be butt cheeks. It's a very unique idea in like design for an aftermarket part, but I do not see the use for it in zombies at all. Unless you're somebody that just sits in tier one all the time with a pack three legendary weapon. But even then there's so many other weapons that are so much better than this. Like just the normal MX Guardian blows this thing out of the water. I feel like there has to be a bug or, or something going on with this gun because there's no way they 
they put it out there and they're like, yeah, people are going to have fun with this in all the modes. Or they just completely forgot about zombies and they're like, oh shit, maybe we should make this thing do more damage. So if they ever do buff it at some point, we'll come back and test it again. But as of right now, this thing is not good at all. And as for the description on the aftermarket part, I feel like it doesn't even do what it says it does in there. Like, yes, it does build up pressure and shoot the ballistic rivets, but the more pressure built up, I, it didn't really seem like there's an option to build up more pressure. I tried waiting in between shots. I tried holding down my, my firing button. It didn't really seem like a whole lot changed. Like every time I shot it, it was doing the same amount. So I don't know if it's just my room temperature IQ that's really holding me back from figuring out how to use this weapon properly, but it's just not doing it for me it ain't doing nothing for nobody but with that i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here thank you guys for watching i truly appreciate all your love and support and i will see you in the next one later